Okay. Welcome you all. Welcome Hamza Malik. You know, I'm glad you came. Uh, Hamza, we are going to do provision for doubtful debts today. Ab jo kuch tumhari memory is hai, uski base pe aaj hum MCQs karenge. And uh, let's see. In the meantime, I I I, I repeat it for you. के प्रोविजन फॉर डाउटफुल डेट्स जो है ना उसमें तीन चीजें हम डिस्कस करेंगे एक बेड डेट एक्सपेंस व्हिच इज अ कंफर्म एक्सपेंस एक प्रोविजन फॉर डाउटफुल डेट्स व्हिच इज अ कॉन्ट्रा एसेट और एक बेड डेट्स रिकवर्ड व्हिच इज एन इनकम तीन चीजें हमें डिस्कस करनी है हमजा आई एम रिपीटिंग वी हैव टू डिस्कस थ्री थिंग्स बेड डेट व्हिच इज रिकॉर्डेड एज एक्सपेंस Bad debts recovered, which is recorded as income, and provision for doubtful debts, which is recorded as contra asset. Uh, asset by nature debit होता है, contra asset by nature credit होता है, right? And you have to keep in mind that increase in provision जो है वो profit को कम कर देगा और decrease in provision profit को बढ़ा देगा. So अगर provision increase हो रहा है तो profit कम हो जाएगा and provision for doubtful debt will be credited. And if we are decreasing the provision, so provision for doubtful debts will be debited, and profit will be credited. Okay, uh, Hamza, do you know where is the chat box? If you want to ask any question, you can uh, ask me on the chat box, or I can open your voice as well. देखें मैं आपकी voice open करता हूँ. आप कुछ बोलें तो मुझे समझ आएगा. Yes, sir. आवाज आ रही है जी जी आ रही है अच्छा कुछ याद है प्रोविजन फॉर डाउटफुल डेट्स जी सर याद है थोड़ा बहुत हाँ बेड जो आपके होते हैं वो रिकॉर्ड करते हैं हाँ, जो है वो है, 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 और बेड डेट्स रिकवर्ड इनकम है yes. राइट और प्रोविजन फॉर डाउटफुल डेट्स अगर इंक्रीज होगा तो इनकम कम होगी और प्रोविजन फॉर डाउटफुल डेट्स डिक्रीज होगा तो इनकम बढ़ेगी राइट यस और बाय नेचर ये क्रेडिट होता है क्लियर है ठीक है मैं तुम्हारी वॉइस बंद कर रहा हूं आई एम एड्रेसिंग टू ऑल ऑफ द पीपल नाउ वी आर मूविंग टू द एमसीक्यूज ओके वेलकम अनुषे वेलकम दुआ वेलकम हसन वेलकम मीर जमान आई एम मिसिंग अ कपल ऑफ नेम्स अप टिल नाउ आई विल आई विल गेट बैक टू यू पीपल प्रोविजन अगर हम इंक्रीज कर रहे हैं तो क्या एंट्री बनेगी दैट्स इट दैट्स द सिंपलेस्ट ऑफ द एमसीक्यूज ऑन दिस टॉपिक अब आप देखें इसमें इफ यू लकी यू कैन गेट एज सिंपल एज दिस वन इस बार सारे आंसर सही होने चाहिए मीर जमान ता हमजा अनुषे दुआ हसन माइन करेक्ट आंसर आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू आंसर दिस इन केस इफ यू नीड टू आक्स एनी थिंग यू नो लेट मी नो आई बिलीव वी नो वॉट द करेक्ट आंसर इज
啊。Okay, ah,、uh, great Anushay, very good Dua, excellent Mir Zaman. Arij, I haven't received any answer from you. How could it be? Ta, that's great. You were the first to answer it. You know, mine, brilliant, correct answer. Ah,、uh, let's move on to the next one. You already have a provision. You have closing trade receivable, and you have to calculate the increase or decrease. The estimated rate of doubtful debts is five percent. Right? Try and calculate this. I hope most of you will be able to do it by now. Right? I'm waiting for your response. Okay, great, Arij. Very good, Mayin. Arij, you should be even even faster than that.、Uh, your your answer is correct, but I expect you to do the calculation even faster than what. Maybe maybe some internet issue that I'm receiving your answer a little late. Yes, Dua, Anushay, Mirzaman, Hassan, Taha. Mine, your answer is correct. Okay,、uh, I I go for my working. See how am I getting the result? It's sixteen thousand trade receivable, right? Expected rate of doubtful debt is five percent. Now five percent of sixteen thousand is eight hundred. So you need a provision of eight hundred. You already have a provision of. 640, right? You, you, you require a provision of 800. You already have a provision of 640. Then you need a further provision of 160. So your income statement debited by 160, and your provision for doubtful debts credited by 160. Right, Anushe? It's 16,000. Right? 5% of 16,000 is 800. So the provision needed at the end of the year is. 800. You already have an opening provision of 640, so you need a further provision of 160, and there you are. Your income will go down by 160, and your provision will go up by 160. Right? Uh, Anushay, is it okay with you, Mir Zaman? Let me know if there is anything. I'm Taha. I haven't received your answer up till now, Dua. Just, just come with the answer. Whether it's right or wrong, it doesn't matter. You know, whatever comes to your mind, you should be expressing it.、Uh, Mir, let me know if it is fine with you, Anushay. Just let me know. Otherwise, I will explain it again. Okay, I move on to the next question. 
um, and uh, check out. I give you time to read and and think and discuss. And this time I will be opening one of the voices. So let me know who is interested to open the voice. Okay, great Dua, great Mirzaman. I'm glad you got the right answer. Uh, Anushe, that's brilliant. I will I will come back and will answer your trial balance stuff uh, later, you know. Uh, Mine, uh, every item is recorded in the pro in the in the trial balance, right? Even if it is provision for doubtful debts or revenue or capital or cash or fixtures or, you know, payable or receivable all the items they come in the trial balance so there's nothing that is not recorded in the trial balance right the answer is the income is better recovered as an income and income when closed down to income statement it is always credited uh, let's move on um, I'm glad uh, so many people have given the right answer Hamza I need your participation you know I want your answers whether they are right or wrong it doesn't matter you know, I will explain it to you. Okay.
Okay. Uh, mine great. Uh, Hamza, uh, thank you very near. Yes, Anushe, this is this is quite a comprehensive one. I I I I, I believe I have to explain it. You know, it's it's one of the very very uh, comprehensive uh, MCQ made by the examiner. You know, it it requires a couple of mathematics steps before we actually do accounting. So uh, I'm waiting for other people to answer Arij. Come up with your answer, Taha. Anything that comes to your mind, Dua. Right, Mirzaman. Okay, now see one thing you need to understand. Aapke paas opening balance kitna nazar aara hai? 63,000, right? Or sales kitni ki aapne? 327,000, right? So total receivable kitna ho gaya? 390,000? Do we agree upon that? 63,000 beginning mein milne the. Credit sales ki 327,000. So total kitna milne? 390,000? Yaha tak clear hai? Cash kitna mila? Cash mila 324,000, right? Or aapne discount bhi diya hai. Lekin discount ya kahi nazar nahi aara hai. Uski percentage maalo mein. Kitni percentage hai discount ki? Which is? 4%. Aapko 4% discount aapne allow kiya hai customers ko. But amount nahi maalo maamount aapko calculate karna hai, right? Acha. Aur aapke paas opening provision hai 1890. अगर आपको closing receivable मालूम हो जाए तो उस पे आप percentage apply कर देंगे which is like you know a two percent आपको estimated rate भी मालूम है आपको closing receivable नहीं मालूम आपको opening receivable मालूम है am I am I right opening receivable मालूम है आपको sales मालूम है तो total receivable कितना हो गया three hundred ninety thousand उसमें से आपने cash receive किया three twenty four thousand right वो minus करेंगे और आपने discount receive allow किया लेकिन डिस्काउंट का फिगर नहीं मालूम आपको अगर ये मालूम हो जाए तो ये दो माइनस कर देंगे तो आपके पास क्लोजिंग रिसीवेबल आ जाएगा ना क्लोजिंग रिसीवेबल पे आप टू परसेंट अप्लाई करेंगे राइट आई आई गिव यू अनदर थर्टी सेकंड्स टू थिंक एन आंसर एंड एंड इट डजेंट मैटर इफ इट कम्स रॉन्ग और राइट जस्ट ट्राई हमजा यू ऑल्सो लुक इन इट अगेन इट इज एट बट वॉट डेबिट और क्रेडिट डेट यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट Oh, Hamza, great. You got it. You got it. Okay, let's see. Dekhi, maine kaise ek a show kiya hai. Uh, I go to my working. Dekhi, jo total cash collected hai na, wo do, jo receivable collect hoi na, wo do isso mein break ho gaye hai. Ek cash aur ek discount. Aur agar total receivable 100 hai, to discount kitna percent diya maine 4 percent. To jo cash collect hua hai, wo total receivable ka kitna percent hoga? That is 100 minus 100 percent minus 4 percent. That is 96 percent. So the total cash collected is 96 percent, right? So usse main receivable nikal lunga. So 324,000 divided by 96 into 100. That gives me 337,500. So maine entry kya banai? Cash debit, discount receive, discount allowed debit, and trade receivable credit. Ta, you getting it? Dua, Anushe. What am I doing here? I'm converting it into 100% to find out that I receivables mere a discount. I have given a discount of 13,500. How am I saying 13,500? Because total receivables are 337,500. If you take 4%, then you will get 13,500. Right. What have I done next working? What I did is I made a leisure banaya, opening balance likha, 63,000. Right, 
ओपनिंग बैलेंस सिक्सटी थ्री थाउजेंड है थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन थाउजेंड में एड किया थ्री नाइनटी थाउजेंड आया थ्री नाइनटी थाउजेंड में से थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड माइनस किया थर्टीन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड माइनस किया फिफ्टी टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड आ गया ना दिस फिफ्टी टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड जो अब मेरे पास है इस पर मैंने टू परसेंट अप्लाई किया तो मेरे पास वन जीरो फाइव जीरो आया मेरे पास ऑलरेडी प्रोविजन है वन एट नाइन जीरो वो मैंने माइनस किया तो एट फोर्टी से मुझे प्रोविजन डिक्रीज करना है और प्रोविजन डिक्रीज होगा तो इनकम इंक्रीज होगी Anushe, I am opening your voice. Raise the question, whatever question you have in mind. Raise the question. I am opening your voice, so I can explain it better. और सेल्फ म्यूटेड उसको अनम्यूट करें अपने सिस्टम को जस्ट जस्ट अनम्यूट द सिस्टम सो यू यू कैन रेस क्वेश्चन आर यू हेयरिंग मी अनुषे जस्ट अनम्यूट योर सिस्टम एंड यू विल बी एबल टू रेज योर वॉइस Hello can you hear me now Yeah I I can hear you now Yeah Okay um sir the first thing that I don't understand is um why are we adding um the you know the trade receivables with can you explain the, the question from the, okay. from the beginning Okay I I explain you See at the beginning of the period the company was expecting 63000 from the customers is it okay with you Okay. Right. That's that's the beginning brought down balance, right? That's the trade yes. receivable at the beginning of the period. Like suppose on January first, you are expecting to receive sixty-three thousand from your customers. Is it fine with you? Yes. And during the month, to all other customers, right? The old customers mm -hmm. and the new customers and all of them, you made a sales of three hundred twenty-seven thousand. Right. Okay. Yes. So, what is your expectation during the month? Your expectation is sixty-three thousand plus three twenty-seven thousand, three ninety thousand. Yes. Yes. Right. Are we clear till that point? Yes. That you were expecting to receive three hundred and ninety thousand during the period. Yes. Okay. Now move on. You received three hundred twenty-four thousand from all the customers, old and new. Right. Okay. and then you also allowed them 4% discount the, the, the problem arises is that you don't know the amount of discount so why do we need to know the amount of discount yeah because you know uh that if you know the amount of discount as well as the amount of cash only then you will be able to know the closing trade receivable like you know uh you you were expecting to receive 390000 during the period yes You receive three twenty-four thousand. Yeah. Okay. Right, and you have given certain amount of discount. Means you are not receiving then later. Okay. That's the point. So you need to know what amount of discount have you allowed to your customers. So you will know is what. Is there a formula? Is there a formula for finding out the closing? Uh, you know, clo closing. Trade Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there is. You know, I mean, you have you. All you need to do is to detect your cash received and your discount and bad debts if there is. Oh, anything. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Okay, so like you know, can I show you my working? See my yes. first working. See my first working. I said, ah, uh, see the total amount that customer settle is equal to cash plus discount. Do you agree upon that? Yes. Out of three ninety thousand, customers have settled certain amount, right? and that mm -hmm. amount is equal to cash received plus the amount of discount i gave them okay so if the total amount is is 100% then 
and 4% is discount, then cash mm -hmm. receive is 96% of the total 96%. amount. Yes, okay. Right? So, so I calculated that, you know, the cash received is 96%, right? So what would be mm -hmm. my total amount that is settled? So I divided 324,000 by 96 and multiplied by 100. Okay. So I got the, I, I got the, the amount that is settled 337,500. Okay. This is the amount uh, after the, we have allowed that discount. Yeah, that's right. That okay. includes both cash and discount, right? So okay. see, see the general entry here. Cash debit three twenty four thousand. Hmm. Discount debit thirteen thousand five hundred. Yes. And trade receivable credit. Okay. Right. Hmm. Meaning, meaning that I have customers have settled their account to the extent of three thirty seven thousand five hundred out of three ninety thousand. Okay. Right. Uh, look at the next uh, slide, right? There we are. Uh, see this ledger. This 63,000 on the debit side, 327,000 on the debit side. Is this a T account? Yeah, this is a T account, right? So why are we calling it a ledger? Ledger and T account is one and the same thing. Okay, awesome. Right, right. 63,000 plus 327,390? Hmm? Remember the earlier we discussed that 390 is my total expectation to receive from the yes. customers. Okay. I received 324,000. 324. Okay, sir. Yeah. That is given in the question. I calculated mm -hmm. 13,500 discount. Yes. So what is the remaining amount that I'm expecting to receive? 52,500. Okay. That that's after deducting all these, right? Mm hmm. And this 52,500 is my expectation that I will receive it in the next month, right? Okay. The next year or whatever, the next period, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm applying a 2% anticipated provision that, you know, I may not receive 2% of it. So when I okay. calculate 2% of it, it is 10. 1050. Right? And I already have a provision of 1890. Mm -hmm. Right, I have more provision than the provision I needed. Right, Achoo. I need only 1050. I already have a provision of one one one. I have a provision of 1050. No, no, I have I, I need a provision of 1050. I already okay. have a provision of 1890. Achoo. Right, so I need to reduce it by 840. By 840. So my income will go up and my provision will go down. Okay. Right? I, Anusha, I must appreciate your consistency and uh, and your eagerness. You know, it's it's these are the initial days when you are struggling, but soon you will be as good as any other student in the class. I'm yeah, glad you're coming and asking yeah. questions. Okay. Thank Is you. It fine with you. Welcome. Yes. Peter, welcome. Okay. I'm I'm just turning your voice off, right, and moving okay. on to the next question.
Okay, uh, Hamza, you should be confident. Taha, I'm I'm switching your voice on. Explain it. You know your answer is correct. I'm I'm turning your voice on. Sir, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, I I request all the other participants to listen to him. His answer is correct. And Hamza, your answer is also correct. Yeah. So the question is, which item would result in a credit entry in an income statement? So the first option is wrong because uh, an increase in provision, the general entries for increase in provision is income statement debit and provision for doubtful debt credit. And okay. B is correct because a reduction in the provision leads to the general entry uh, provision for doubtful debt is credited, uh, is debited, and income statement is credited. So the answer is B. Yeah, it's provision. Good. Uh, thank you very much. Provision for doubtful debts, debit and income statement credit. That's the correct answer, Mizawan. Right. Let's move on to the next question. RH, great, your answer is correct. Would you like to explain it? I'm, I'm turning your voice on. Are yourself muted? Unmute yourself. Your device is self muted. Unmute, then I can hear you. Hello? Yeah, Are I can hear you now. Yes, speak up. Yes, yes, go ahead. So, sir, we can see in this that there is a debit entry of 80, which means that the expense has that it's an expense entry. 
which shows that the uh, expense that the provision for doubtful debt has been increased by 80. So we're going to do okay. 720 plus 80, which shows us 800, which means that right. the five that the five the five percent of the actual trade receivables is 800. So we're going to make an equation. And it is going to be like 800 multiplied by 100 divided by 5. Brilliant. Brilliant. 16. That's correct. Okay, I did, I did almost exactly the same what Arij Arij has just said. Uh, look at my answer. Right. Uh, 720 was my opening provision. Because income has gone down by 80, so there is increase in provision of 80. So there was a provision of 720 at the beginning of the period and then an increase in provision of 20. The total provision becomes, as Arit said, it is 800. And the formula to calculate rate is rate is equal to provision for doubtful debts divided by trade receivable into 100. So rate is 5%. Uh, provision is 800. Trade receivable debt, I don't know, which is X. And if I cross multiply, this is uh, 16,000 as Arish said. Now I want you people to let me know if it is okay with me, with you, or shall I explain it again? Please, please just uh, write on the uh, chat box that, uh, that is it clear, Adil, uh, sorry, Mirzaman, is it, is it okay with you, Dua? Just let me know, please. Taha. Okay, Anushe, I'm going back to the question and I'm, I'm, I'm turning your voice on. So let me know if I could explain it. Uh, anything that is bothering you here. Yes, Anushe. Um, sir, why are we adding $80 to $720? That's right. Why are we adding that? It's a, it's a very valid question. It's actually we have a 720 opening balance. Okay. Right. And it says that 80 was charged to income statement, meaning you debit income statement and you credit provision for doubtful debts. Okay. Right? So when you charge and you debit income statement, it's like income statement debit and provision is credited. Provision by nature is a contra asset, always has a credit balance. So there's an mm -hmm. opening balance of 720, which is credit. Okay. Plus, during the year, you made an entry, income statement, debit, and provision for doubtful debts, credit. So, 720 plus 80 makes it closing provision needed is 800. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, if this 800 is represent 5% of the total receivables. Oh. Right. Uh, can you just check my working? See the working. It's 720 plus 80 is 800. And then I wrote the mm -hmm. formula. Formula A, rate is equal to provision for doubtful debts divided by trade receivable into 100. I know the rate is 5%. I know the mm -hmm. provision is 800. I don't know yeah. what is trade receivable. So I put an X there. Okay. And then I cross multiply and I got the answer. Okay. Right. Thank you, sir. Welcome. No problem. You're always welcome.
okay uh, this is this is one of the question that is a challenge right uh, I'm not going to solve it today take a screenshot take a picture of this question uh, try and do it share it with your classmates right try and do it and I will be explaining it on next Tuesday right uh, take a screenshot it's something that is interesting you know and quite interesting so share it with your other classmates try and get the answer otherwise we'll be this is this is a challenge question as your homework you know uh, let's move on to the next question and this is an easy one right this I wrote in my workbook as well so I think 100% of you should be able to answer it with the exception of a couple of guys who were not in my class and attending the session you know uh, and I want everyone to answer this right and and correctly because we have done it in the class Okay, uh, tha, great. Amir, uh, answer Anna Chita Dua, Yamniki Away class, me. You know, the key provision increase or from 1000 to 2500. Kitna increase or provision 1500, right? It was 1000 at the beginning of the period, and at the end of the period, is it is 1500. So, increase in provision is 1500, which is a loss, which is decrease in profit. And then there's a bad debt of 1500 which is again a loss so 1500 ka loss increase in provision ke se hua hai. 1500 ka loss bad debts ke se hua hai. total loss kitna ho gaya? to 3000 or 100 bad debts recovered hai. right so that is income bad debts recovered is income do we all agree upon that so 3000 minus 100 it is 2900 right so so the amount that you will charge to income is income statement is 2900 is it clear i repeat 1000 the provision increase were 2500 so there's increase of 1500 increase provision means decrease profit and then bad debts have 1500 or profit ko kam karega so 1500 plus 1500 makes it 3000 3000 the profit come over bad debts recovered is an income 100 say income add away so 2900 expense okay right Shall we move on to the next question? Okay. Uh, try this one.
Okay. Uh, <coughs> I'm still waiting for the answer. Uh, it's interesting, you know. It's a little bit different, but it's interesting. Look, your opening provision is 700. Do we all agree upon that? And this year, provision and bed debts. Me, la ke total amount jo charge kiya income statement ko kitna charge kiya? 200. Usme se bed debts kitna hai? Bed debts is yes. 30. Am I right? 200 total provision hai. Usme se bed debts kitna hai? 30. So provision kitna hua? Increase in provision. 170. Pehle provision 700 tha. 170 se increase karenge to kitna ho jayega? 870. Right? Okay. Let's see the working. Shall I go back to the working? Dekhi, working mein kya ho hai? I start with 700. Right? Uh, 200 mere paas provision hai, usme se maine 30 minus kiya, to mera increase in provision is saal kitna provision charge kiya, 170. Purana provision kitna tha, 800, 700, 700 plus 170 is 870. 870 is my provision, right? Or mera trade is receivable formula hai, rate is equal to provision of a doubtful debt divided by trade receivable into 100. अब मुझे रेट कैलकुलेट करना है प्रोविजन मुझे मालूम है मेरा कितना है 870 ट्रेडिसिबल मुझे गिवन है सवाल में 15000 इन 200 एंड दैट इज 5.8 प्लीज लेट मी नो इफ इट इज क्लियर यस और नो दुआ तहा हमजा अनुशे Okay, uh, do I just let me know if it is fine with me, with you? Otherwise, uh, you know, I move on. It's almost time to call it a day. I have a question that you have taken a snapshot. Try and do it. You know, share it with your classmates. Uh, you know, I will be happy to see you people working on that. It's quite a comprehensive question. Uh, one of those MCQs, uh, they test all your understanding of the topic. So, Thank you very much for coming over and uh, we'll be meeting again on next Tuesday, right? Thank you and it's over from me. Allah Hafiz.